Welcome to another episode of Ask No. This is not Ask Your Lesbian Mom. This is Baking Bad, in which I, Jessica, the girl who loves to bake, attempts to convince Claudia, my beautiful wife, who doesn't really love to bake. The baking's actually super fun. And in this particular episode, it's particularly useful because we're making lactation cookies. Lactation's not a great word. Booby cookies? Milk cookies. Lactation cookies are recommended to me by my uh, close friend who's had like her second baby. Her second baby. And, and Natalie. I think the main ingredients to promote lactation, I don't know if there's any truth in it, is oats, black seed, almond butter, that kind of stuff. Oh, brewer's yeast, which I'm really hoping is just normal yeast. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what brewer's yeast We Googled is. this, we couldn't work it out. Basically, when you are breastfeeding, you apparently have to eat 600 calories calories extra every day. Mm -hmm. Apparently so. I will feel hunger like I've never felt hunger before, so I'm quite <laughs> alarmed by it. Boy does she eat. What I'm alarmed by most is we've just had our house renovated and our bedroom now is on the second floor. So that is two flights of stairs away from the kitchen and I'm like, what? I'm going to be hungry like I've never been hungry before and an extra flight of stairs away from the kitchen. The first time my mother met you, one of the first things she said is, how is she still eating? <laughs> the very first day she spent with you, you managed to eat a ridiculous amount yeah. of food. It and was then like we a had like full English we had breakfast. A full English. Then I got Cornish pasty as a, as a snack, <laughs> mid morning snack. A full Cornish pasty was this big as a snack. Then we went out for dinner. Oh no! Wait. Oh no! Lunch was a massive pizza. Yeah. Then you had like okay, three scoops of ice cream with oh, yeah, a waffle yeah. cone. And I don't know what we had for dinner. I think dinner was small. Then you had a waffle. <laughs> and we're like, it's like, no, then you had a steak. Did My I? mom was like, where is she putting this food? That's what happens when I'm on holiday, because we went to visit them in Cornwall, and that to me is a bit like a holiday. And when I'm on holiday, I'm like, oh, I'm so relaxed. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that was not even hungry. So, you know, I'm, I'm a bit alarmed. I'm so afraid. At what's coming. So we're going to make a big batch of cookies. In yeah. That we yeah, can put yeah. in the freezer. Our whole freezer is gonna fill, be filled with these cookies, <laughs> and I will be like, Jessica, go go with those cookies. But wait, do we freeze the uncooked dough, uh, and then I bake it for you, yeah. or do we freeze? Yeah, them? I want freshly oh. made cookies. I don't want like defrosted cookies. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I mean, right. I don't know. I'll check on the recipe, but I would imagine that's what you do. Jessica, cookies! We <laughs> don't live on milk. They're coming. We could like create a pulley system through our skylight. Oh yeah! Hey now, here's the next batch. So uh, let's have a look at this recipe. Three cups of old fashioned oats. So I went for this, what I thought looked like quite old packaging. <laughs> We need one and a half cups. We should be measuring stuff out whilst rather than, I'm, just like, I'm not just telling you this to put it in a bowl? In a large bowl, whisk together oats, flour, yeast, flaxseed, baking powder, soda, cinnamon and salt. Pregnancy has been very physical for me. I need one and a half cups of flour. She's not using uh, lactose-free butter, however. No, or sugar-free. I'm gonna make Despite it- Despite her lactose issues. I'm gonna make it full fat because I feel like I will be needing that. I need five tablespoons of yeast. That is excessive. America only makes 22 cookies. How big is a cookie? <laughs> yeah, an American cookie is like this. Mm. Like this, it's a proper, like a ha. But and, 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 and biscuits like this. Five tablespoons ground flaxseed. So I bought this what? cold milled flaxseed with chia seed, apple and cinnamon. Also, it tells me to add cinnamon. Ooh. Smell this, it's quite Are lots. you sure that we're all adding this? Okay, fine. There's quite a lot of cinnamon in this already. This I don't think we need more cinnamon. <gasps> Honey, exactly how much of that is flaxseed and how much is the other ingredients? I think it'd be nice. Just through this pregnancy I've noticed like I'll literally read something and then within one second of reading it I've forgotten. So if it's a really long sentence I'm a bit screwed. It's kind of hilarious. My wife has been experiencing memory loss. brain fog, memory loss, chronic fatigue, I'd be like, oh. hypermobility. I'd be like, I'm just gonna go get this thing and then I halfway up the stairs I'm like, what? <laughs> Why am I even here? And then it's like, oh, but I'm so tired, my legs hurt. I'm gonna sit down. And then all I've done is gone halfway up the stairs and sat down, and I can't remember why I was there, what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. And when you stand up, your feet go flat, and you're yeah. like, why though? <laughs> but then, <laughs> I'm not like, why? Why? I luckily can still remember I'm pregnant. <laughs> Right, half a teaspoon. You could be doing the wet things, darling, in the mixing bowl. Well, you're the one in charge of this episode. Oh, okay. 
Okay. No, no, in the bowl of your electric mixer, beat the butter of coconut oil. Oh, mini scale. Fabulous. Clara, Thanks, darling. Clara gave us that one. Oh, Clara and Evelina gave us this scale when they deserted the island. Run back to mainland. To remind us how empty and light we felt without them. <laughs> That's not right. Lightness implies. I understand it. Yeah, that'd <laughs> be a good thing. Not like they were a heavy burden. It's okay, I get it. It's okay, fine. I'll stop talking. <laughs> Everyone gets it. We're bereft without them. How did we completely miss that? Karen and Evelina were like our really good friends, and then they went to go and live in Spain because Clara's from Spain. I mean, and like Brexit and COVID and a variety of other reasons, and they want to have a baby, which is, you know, fair, but also sadness. Right, back to my recipe. For some reason it says whisk it together these ingredients, but I don't think you can really whisk dry ingredients together. Who is whisking rolled oats? You're meant to be beating the butter and coconut oil on medium speed until creamy. Four whisk. tablespoons of coconut oil. Hey! I can't get on. <laughs> it's too much for my brain. Okay. Okay. Mix until creamy. I don't know how many times I've said that. Sorry. <laughs> One and a half cups. Well, did you know this is one kilo? And yeah. uh, the baby apparently is about two kilos right now. Yeah. So they're like two of those in me. Well, no, not two of those. One, but accumulatively, <laughs> that two of the weights of those. I filled it up a bit more. Wow. <laughs> okay. Woo. And beat on medium to high speed until fluffy. Okay. That just goes on for four to five minutes. And we need an egg and an egg yolk. Oh, I love making stuff so much. It is so fun. And speaking of enjoying making things, have you ever considered Skillshare? One of the questions that I am most often asked is where to begin when starting a YouTube channel on a budget. Where is it important to put your money? Camera or sound? Which skills should you be working on building? Oh, well, well, well. Firstly, you can absolutely start a great looking YouTube channel without lots of money. And one of the ways you can learn to do that is through the amazing Skillshare class, Video on a Budget. Prepare for your shoot without breaking the bank by Christopher Rhodes, AKA YC Imaging, music video director and YouTube which has closed captions as do all Skillshare originals and many of their other videos too. For the two of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Not only do you get to become a member of a group where you can connect with fellow creatives and encourage each other, you also get to inspire your own creativity and get tips to build your skills. Christopher's class covers all areas of video production on a budget, but I found it really specifically helpful in regards to lighting. See, I'm currently creating a filming studio slash guest room upstairs and I wanted to be this amazing all-in-one flick a switch because it's ready because you know I'm about to have a newborn and I don't have time to faff around with 10 different lights but I also don't want it to be ridiculously expensive because again about to have a newborn so even though I've been working with cameras and lighting for five years now and and uh, not always getting it right. There were so many things for me to learn from this course. From developing a vision, to location scouting, creating a shot list, developing a list of your equipment, which are all things I, I also learned about in my university filmmaking course. So it was really nice to have this refresher. But that's also the joy of Skillshare because you don't have to fork out extortionate amounts of money to get access to knowledge and skills nowadays. Learn how to structure your time, set up achievable goals, and develop your productivity, whether that's to fend off boredom, focus on self-care, or use your creativity to enact social good. So sign up today by clicking the top link in my description. The first 1,000 people to sign up will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, so move quickly, and after that, it's only around ten dollars a month. Right. What's next, darling? Why are you asking me? You walked off to go look at the recipe. Did I put sugar in? Yeah. Well, I, I measured it out, didn't I? You put the sugar in. Yeah. The sugar happened. Definitely happened. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Two teaspoons. Jesus, that's a lot. And then, all oh, the best bit: one and a half cups of chocolate chip or chunks. Oh. I've only got not even a cup's worth. Why don't you, yeah, just go ahead, break up some actual chocolate, see what happens. Put the chocolate in. 
successful. Yeah, this new Fast and Furious movie coming out this summer. Is there? Yes. Yeah, it says feel free to add one to two tablespoons of almond butter. So let's do that. To my eye, this looks a little dry. Okay. As a mixture. It says use ice cream scoop. Hey, we have an ice cream scoop. To make regular sizes and put it on a baking sheet. And then you either put that in the oven or wait for 10 to 14 minutes if you want them now. Or you freeze them on the baking sheet. Uh -huh. And once they're in the frozen shape, then you can put them in a Ziploc bag. Ah. And then when you want to have them, you can take individual ones out and cook them for 12 minutes. Well, fabulous. Yes. Let's do that. <laughs> in the oven and then uh, at the timer went off at the it's correct time that it says that you should cook them for 10 to 12 minutes what did you say that as 10 or 12 minutes 12 to 12 minutes. so she even went for the longer side then she decided to like take it out well, and poke it to be fair and so i opened the door and then i poked my finger in it because i wanted to see whether it was like done and my finger just sunk right in it just went that's, and i said to her that's what cookies it do sunk they're right soft in. No one likes an overdone cookie. Anyway. I don't think I've just, eaten a cookie since I was five. You just saw me eat one. So she <laughs> so left it, it back so she left it in. She's gonna leave it for two more minutes. And then she'll argue that she was then helping me with some technical issues. I will, because Claudia was like, Jessica, how do I do this? But then instead of two minutes, and then I was it like, took four minutes. I did that time a bit off ages ago. She's like, yeah. And I was like, it was literally probably about Can I just six say? minutes later. Anyway, they were probably in there for 20 minutes. That is a biscuit. <laughs> you're meant to be able to see the chocolate chips and they're meant to be all gooey. I'm so sorry, darling. I mean, I guess it's called baking bad for a reason, right? A flavor's there, but it's incredibly dry. <laughs> when you cook the next batch, just follow the actual instructions. It's fine, it's fine. We've got plenty of dough, nicely frozen, and when you become a rabidly hungry monster um, who is breastfeeding yes. a child, screaming at me that you need calories, uh, which right. she already did before Otherwise pregnancy. I will knock you out of these cookies. <laughs> what is this? A really nice cookie, in my opinion, is like, it's still the same color as cookie dough. What? Uh. So thanks for joining us for another episode of Baking Bad, where at least we discovered the problem with our baking quite quickly. I don't know quickly. why you're putting me in this. It was all your fault. <laughs> it was my fault. I will accept full and total responsibility for this one. It's totally on me. However, if you would like to learn some actually good skills that you can perhaps actually use in your life for useful things, then I really do suggest that you click the top link in my description and go visit Skillshare, where the first 1,000 people to click the link will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Oh my goodness, that does indeed sound good. And for everyone else, it's just $10 a month. Really? Actually not that bad when you come to like skill building, like a sim. I'm going to skill build like a sim. Life would just be easier that way, you know? If you could get like a good track of your progress. Again, thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't already that's just the little red button down there below you'll see a join one next to it <gasps> if you click join you'll find out how you can become a part of the Calvin Fozard Club Yay. which is a special members only club where you get access to behind the scenes videos and a whole load of other lovely little goodies and I really do appreciate my KF clubbies so so much because you guys are going to be my maternity leave so I can actually look after this one because funny enough uh, YouTube does not off maternity leave. Mm. Wow, amazing. So I can look after my little wife and kiddo and um and make my not bake. Okay, I will also, I will make these cookies and I will make saying. so many of them. Some of them have got to be good. Until next time. See you in our next video. Bye. Bye. Today's Calgon Fraser Large Club question comes from Anna. As soon as you're allowed to fly, will you go and visit Evelina and Clara? Yes! We are hoping that they'll be able to come and stay with us first while the baby is still quite little and then we'll go and visit them when the baby is a few months old and we're a bit more confident with trips. 
you know, we'll, we'll start with cafes first, probably. 